Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to unbox an actual coronavirus survival kit. Not an actual coronavirus um, survival kit. Specifically, it's for zombie apocalypse, virus outbreaks, total pandemic mayhem. So we're gonna unbox this survival kit and see if there's actually anything useful in here that we could use if we were in an actual survival situation. First thing, we got some masks. These are in short supply right now because um, everybody wants them. These actually are just cotton masks, so they will probably only guard you from someone's like sneezing in your face, like particulate um, type transference, but not actually preventing you from getting the coronavirus. All right, next thing is a life straw. Now this is actually pretty useful because it's, a, it's like a special filter that you could be, drink like directly out of a river. Yeah. And you won't die from the bacteria. Nice. So, cause it's all about survival. All right, next thing we've got a, a mechanical flashlight. That's kind of cool. So oh. this, what does this thing do? Are you? Ah, that activates, know. and now you, that's how you charge it. Yeah, I like that. And then, then you lock it, and then you can power it. It's pretty oh, cool, so there's a little battery in there. It's even brighter too. Well, how is there a battery in there? There must be a battery, so, so right here is the, uh, it's basically a generator, a little portable generator with a, co a coil with magnet, and then you've got a battery right there, it looks like. Mm. Cool. Survival sleeping bag. Reusable plenty of space for two adults. Wow. It's pretty small. That is a small, very small sleeping bag for two adults. So that's, I guess, if we're outside of the house, right? I mean, All right. yeah. And what's this? A oh, a compass. A compass. Well, that could be useful, but this is some type of a whistle. Yep. Yeah, that's good. So this is like if you needed to whistle for help. What is the? It's the compass. I know, but why is it? Oh no, it's not the compass. Sorry, it's, it's the. the no. Yeah, it's the whistle. No, I think there's more. That's on. Actually, this is opens up. See, we gotta investigate all this stuff, dude. Wait. So, Ooh, a mirror. It, it's kind of... <laughs> yeah, so they gave you a little game, like a Chinese finger trap game. <laughs> or just, just like a holder, you know? It's so you can blow on it on your finger. That's why you don't lose it. Oh, but then there's a well, string there's a there. swing. What's the string yeah. for then? That's so you put it on your neck. So I guess what you could do is you could put some matches in here, maybe? Probably. But what do you think the mirror is for? If you can't see... Something. Oh, you use the sun to like shine it in their eye. Or probably to create a fire. With a mirror? You need like a con. You need, you need a lens for that. Sun. What? That's kind of sad. Yeah, that's just a one x. Um, you need like a concave lens in order to magnify the sun. Like an eight x. Or convex, I guess it would be. Yeah. So while we're on our survival, uh, we've got two glow sticks. Emergency glow sticks. We've got some duct tape. Um, what would you use duct tape for? Hmm. I guess if you got to injured. To build a shelter. A what? Uh, if you got injured, you know, you can like, yeah. tape it up. Flint and steel fire starter. Now this, maybe this goes inside of here. And then use the mirror to put on the Oh, now that is cool. Did it spark? I thought I saw one. Hmm. It's not a good flint. Well, that's not a flint, is it? Well, I don't know what this flint thing is. Flint and steel. Yeah, it does say flint. Flint and steel. Is that what you're supposed to do? Like spin it? <laughs> uh, is it supposed to spark that way? 
<laughs> I think it's something with, to, to do with the edges right here. That's why it's uh, curved. Well, right. I think it has something to do with the sawtooth thing. That's what I was talking about. Oh, I thought you meant this edge. No. <laughs> okay. But this is a brand new pack, so I don't know why it would be... All right, so we will put this to the side and come back and see if we can figure this out. Maybe we use the wire cutter, nope. the wire saw. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. I mean, that could be an option, but that's not, that didn't come in the package. Okay. So. All right, next thing. Let's see what this is. Harmonica. Nope. Oh, it's the, it's the tool. Oh, like a Leatherman. Sure. Multi-tool. That actually can come in handy. It's a multi-pass. A Lilu Dallas. So pliers, looks like a knife there. That's cool. That would definitely come well, in. Probably have a can opener in the wild. Well, probably because there's a can of food in this pack. It's probably all by now. A first aid kit. Emergency first aid kit. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So you got an instruction manual. And look at all those. There's actually some good stuff in here. You've got painkillers, bandages. How many bandages are there? Oh man, that's a lot. <laughs> this alcohol, could, yeah, that's pretty good actually. This yeah, you could keep in your car. car. That comes in handy. Playing cards so we're not bored. Wow. Of course, that is assuming that we that there's more than one of us that survives. All right, this has got to be where all the weight's coming from. It's like some heavy things in here. What, what is this? SOS emergency food ration. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's got a sell-by date. Huh. Oh, 2023. So that's pretty good. What's it got in it? Sugar, flour, cornstarch. So basically, these are just cookies. That actually could last you a while. There's six, six each. Yep. Yeah. Is that plastic? It kind of feels like a plastic knife. It kind of does. I think it's metal though. Yeah, it is metal. Hmm. Huh. It just felt like plastic. You can kind of see how cheap that metal is. Yeah. But it does it gets the job done. Alright, next thing is what is this? Like a whoopee cushion? It kind of looks like one, doesn't it? A light jacket? What does this say? Thin film may cling to nose and mouth to prevent breathing. It's a bag. Oh, it's a biohazard bag. What's Got it. For? for biohazards. All right. And to eat your food, you're going to need some of these. Why? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what those gloves are for. Those are like your standard issue, like Harbor Freight, 99 cent. You've got a uh, survival shelter. You can build your shelter. We got another flashlight. I wonder how they give. I guess because they think that there's more than one person alive, so they have two. Or just right. in case the other flashlight go. runs out. Let's see if you can turn the flashlight on. Not hard. <laughs> there you go. Thing. Rain ponchos. Who needs a rain poncho? One, two, three, four, and a blanket. Now these actually. Survival blanket. It's basically tin foil. Hmm. These can come in handy. Materials similar to insulation and space equipment helps contain body heat. Yeah, these are. This actually is it can come in handy. And let's see, another blanket, another blanket, some more Kleenex, another Kleenex, and so this another blanket. It's like all the same. I guess it's made for like a family. <coughs> Two or four of them. And we're nearing the end here. We've got some really heavy things back here. Kleenex. 
Oh. You know what this is? Toothpaste. Emergency purified drinking water. <laughs> Drink minimum of two bags per day. It says here it was manufactured in 2018. So this has been sitting for two years already. Wow. And expiration 2023. So it's a five year shelf life. Let's see. Two. Three days. One day, two days, three days, four, five, and six. So you got six days worth for one person. And then if you have a second person, you've got six more days. So 12 days. Or only six days for two people, which really isn't that much. And that's only if you're drinking, you know, the minimum. Yeah. That's not, not very much water for one whole day. Yeah. Well, and that's everything. Looks like it's oh, enough. I forgot something. What is that? This was in here too. Another first aid kit. Oh, we need two first aid. Kits? Oh, oh, this is the big one. This is a very detailed first aid kit. Like, who's gonna use this many band aids? Look at this. And I got more in the other pack, right? Or is that... I know, but like, if you're if you're only gonna stay alive for twelve days. This, with this many band-aids, you can cut yourself at least four times a day per person. <laughs> <laughs> so, if, so if you have a broken finger, I can put that like that and then I would... That's what the duct tape's for. No, that's, this is the tape for that. Use this oh. surgical tape. And then I would wrap this around it and there you go. I mean, it's really just for broken fingers. That's about all you can do. Like if I if I had a broken wrist or something, I don't think I could use. Hey, good. Uh, I mean, it it's better than nothing, you know. All this is better than nothing. <laughs> True dad. And that's I think. And then you get a nice carrying backpack. So in the end, we've got four packs of Kleenex. We've got 12 days of water. For one person. Four survival blankets. Um, we've got two sleeping bags, which each hold two people, so that technically is four people, if you had that money. We've got four rain ponchos. We've got plenty of food, water, glow sticks, and some masks so we don't get each other infected. And then to top it off, we've got some playing cards. All right, so how much do you think something like this costs? 150 to 200, maybe. No. 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 One. I think it's much less, actually. Much, much less. I think this costs like 60 bucks. It's not bad. So the question is, is there any circumstance in which you would purchase this survival kit? Yeah. If I knew exactly what was coming, I would consider it. What if I turn into a zombie and come after you and you have to like run away? Like that would ever happen. What if you just ran out of games to play and you really needed a deck of playing cards? So, uh, All right, let's start this so fire. Why? All right, here's your kindling. Like, forget the survival kit. Like, forget the survival kit. Of, we're going to die. We're going to die of... Thermia. <laughs> <laughs> we're just both trying to think of the words. <laughs> and there we have it, folks. Thanks for watching.